gorgeous. I'm the Fairy Voice Mother, and today I'm going to be reacting to Queensryche Silent Lucidity. The lead singer of this band, Jeff Tate, is the favourite singer of one of my very, very dear friends, Julia. He's one of my favourite singers. I just adore him. And Julia is the one who introduced me to Queensryche in the first place, and she was very very adamant I listened to this. You've got to do Silent Lucidity now to fully understand. You have to react to Silent Lucidity. She knows what's up. <laughs> if you haven't yet seen my first reaction to Queensryche with Julian Island contemporary voice specialist herself, you can look at it. I think it's here. You can look at it. It's time for round two. Ding ding. Just begun. Oh. Ah. oh! Has it just begun? That's so classy. Because you don't even really notice it. It's such a subtle pitch bend up at the end to make that a question. And it is surrounded by the entry of the guitar and drums. Even the face on him there asked a question. But without lifting his eyebrow, how did he do that? Has it just begun? I've had some terrible nightmares in my time and I think this is exactly what I would want is Jeff's dulcet tones with an acoustic guitar but you know what's cool about the acoustic guitar is it takes you on this kind of like journey and it's all very stable but then as it gets to the end of I don't know the first phrase you kind of lose a beat it feels like you slip it was all the bad dream spinning Because I've had lots of bad dreams before where I think I'm falling and then I just suddenly wake up and it kind of would sound like that if it was music. This string arrangement is bloody mind-blowing. We good. It's like those strings emerge from underground there. Just puts the whole thing massive balls in it. They did a great job of making it sound both creepy and comforting. Like the delay on the word spinning. Spinning in your head. Spinning, spinning. That's creepy. There's a big old reverb on there as well, which is an obvious choice because dreaming is just And the vocal performance seems to come in and out of like this low larynx soft vocal tone to just speech. <laughs> Breathy mysterious speech. The game. One of the clues as to where we can tell is this kind of low larynx placement is the way that he begins each of his phrases from a note underneath. So he slides up to everything. Lying safe and it's all about the mind trick you of someone. And that would naturally help you find a lower position because if you were to attack the beginning of the phrase like wipe away, that's bang on the note at the beginning. Wipe away, wipe away. It just makes it sit lower and it gives it that warm feel. They did an absolutely fabulous job at arranging that beginning. There's like this big swelly string chord that emerges Ooh, to support the music and then it cuts out. The mind tricked you to feel the pain. We're replaced with that really nice warm bass and a little weep at the top. Close to you. And then back in with those warm strings again before it cuts out. Here it is, another chance. Wide awake, you face the day. Your dream 
time is over. And oh, it's just a way to make the song constantly build. Because you would think maybe the best way to build a song is just to stack things up. Get your strings in, now get your bass in, now get your synth in, put your harmonies in, and then it just builds like. But what happens is the listeners' ears get very bored of that same part and they kind of forget it's there so that building effect doesn't last very long and what's more is if you want to build your song like that at some point you're gonna run out of frequency spectrum to cover because everything's been stacked up right to the top so you're gonna end up adding too much to a certain range of the frequency spectrum of the song and it's gonna sound muddy big frequency sh storm so what they've done is they've teased us here's a little chord for you did you like that okay well it's going out now but we're gonna give you a little bass and a high string sound and now we're gonna give you those other strings back again so we've had a little sample of everything and then cut it all out and then at one point pff, they're gonna chuck it all at us at once in a really non-linear way and we call that element of it arranging as opposed to composing because the composition is quite clearly the acoustic guitar and the voice all the other stuff is just like sonic decoration to make us feel the intent of the song more so we can appreciate the composition more it's kind of like <sighs> like if someone's hair was really dirty we might still be able to see that this person's got nice hair but we can't really appreciate it until it's clean there's a place i like to So we can see now this acoustic guitar pattern doesn't leave. It's our constant driving force throughout the song. But now we're accompanied with a full drum kit and a bunch of other things going on in the strings. We've got a lot of consistently ascending movements now. And there's lots of those one after the other. So we do have a constant underlying feeling of build and tension. There's actually an extreme example of that. I don't know if you've ever heard of shepherd tones, but it's this like phenomena, music illusion or something. When you combine several of these shepherd tones, it can create an effect that the sound is constantly rising. When you combine these different shepherd tones, you can create an infinite track that will sound like it's ascending forever. That isn't actually that relevant to what I'm talking about, but it just came into my mind and I thought I'd share it. <laughs> Suddenly you'll hear and see this magic new dimension. So this magic new dimension came down, but the strings kept going up. And although I know for a fact that Jeff could have taken that vocal melody up as well. Hear and see this magic new dimension. <laughs> He's decided to keep his voice down and strong in that same kind of realm rather than ping off and come out of his sleepy dream man character. And so it was cool because it took us on this like <sighs> journey.
the tears. Oh, how beautiful. That's a really strong chorus in those eyes. The top one going up at the end and the bottom one going down at the end kind of opens into the lead part like this. Ta -da. Uh sideways flower and I'm pretty sure there's only two parts there but it sounds so massive I think likely because a lot of people would have sung it at the same time maybe they had an actual chorus with lots of different voice qualities or they could have just tracked the same person separately over and over again at different positions on the mic different distances and different kind of vocal qualities and that's a top tip if you haven't got the money to hire a full choir just sing your phrase with slightly different voice qualities and just stand different distances away from the mic and then when you layer it together free choir like the lyrics are all about I'm gonna protect you don't worry about anything and the music is like yeah like it's all triumphant and big and that is just a warm hug I'm smiling next to you in silent lucidity I'm here in your lucid dream smiling that's nice I suppose it depends who it is <laughs> the strings carried the music into this new section here was so 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 cool we got a little bit of the high one like hey i'm here you ready and then the music's like yeah and then the rhythm gets steady and whenever the rhythm changes in a song like that to even notes we're like okay here we go but we couldn't have expected this this is really zany isn't it this <laughs> That was like a piece of modern art. A fusion between so many things, but from completely different sources. <laughs> I don't know what to make of that, I've got to be honest, but I respect it and admire it deeply. As far as bridges go in songs, it's probably the most unique bridge I've ever heard. If you open your mind for me, you won't rely on open eyes to see. Walls you built within come tumbling down, and a new world will begin. Living twice at once, you learn. You say for fame, and the dream remain. Your soul set free to fly. A round trip journey. That's so, oh, I love this. You hear the way how he explodes out of illusion and into can, and that master, when he sings that, you can hear a lot of excitement into that top note. Master of illusion can. 
you could hear that pressure shoot up and out and he was bang on that note pressure kind of build up and it's about to break and then the can just explodes out of it oh there's so much to keep you on edge about this song and that is just one of those things it's like mm. And then he counteracts that after with a really dropped jaw. I know that he's miming this, but chances are he's miming it in the same way he would have sang it in the studio. Open mouth to project that slightly lower note is going to give the voice that more balanced quality, which we kind of want after something a bit more tense on the top. So yeah, oh, it's lovely. Oh, he's so bloody good. He really is. I love a little bit of asymmetry in music. So it's like the sections come back again that we recognise from before, but it's like a pimped up version. This time we've got drums, we've got constant strings now, we've got some tumbling down toms on the words tumbling down. Tumbling down a new world. Very nice. There's a much greater rhythmic contribution now from the strings as well. We've got all kinds of Hush now don't you cry The walls you built with them such a nuanced vocal performance. Lots of playing around with pressure. Not a new world will begin. A new world will begin. There with that very slow vibrato. That's controlled with the diaphragm as well. So yeah, super superior breath control all round and I'm not surprised because he's obviously an extremely well-trained well-practiced and highly talented vocal performer because of the stuff that he managed to do with Take Hold of the Flame. You can't do all those crazy high notes without a lot of control and awareness over your voice and what I call vocal autonomy, being able to control your voice so it does exactly what you want it to do. And this is what he's doing here, but in a different realm in terms of range. kind of comes in as his notes step up there. So this ascending melisma, which is just basically a fancy word for riff, is being performed without switching to a mode 2 register, which would have been like through, which is a far more relieving sensation in the voice. Because he wants to keep his voice attached to that speech quality, it requires a lot more control. We want to imagine that our voice is kind of coming to a point to make sure that the breath pressure doesn't get too much and the voice through breaks off or goes through like a big old powerful note. So when you sing phrases like this you want to imagine the voice shrinking while staying attached and this just sort of seems to happen. <laughs> That was such a big interval that he slid through. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds weird. Is it slided or slid? I hope it's slided. Anyway. I'm smiling. That's a whole seventh. Wow. That's quite edgy how he didn't say the word silent lucidity at the end. Because we already know. Because he was so assuring that whole five minutes and 50 seconds that I know he'll be there. Smiling at me. In my dreams. <clears throat> I'm okay with that. We've got symbols chained to the ceiling, luminous saturated yellow lights, rippling bed sheets. It's kind of how this song makes you feel like you're sort of flying on a silk sheet. The dreamland. Maybe it's just because that image is actually in my head now. I wasn't expecting this at all. I was expecting something obviously along the lines of the other one, something more sort of racy and upbeat and gymnastics y. He sings up the top of his mixed voice with so much strength in the other one. And in this one, I mean, at the beginning, if you close your eyes, it could have been bloody Johnny Cash. Oh, my blues, oh, yeah. Interesting 
twists and turns throughout, like the bridge. <laughs> From the concept to the arranging to the really nuanced stylized vocal performance that sounds effortless but it's something that would require a lot of skill. It is fabulous and I see why you love it so much Julia and everyone else that has requested my listening of this. I don't know if that was English or not. It is almost time my darling ones to love you and leave you until I see you again but not before we do today's oracle card. That awkward stage between cute caterpillar and beautiful butterfly we refer to as the mush where the caterpillar completely liquidifies to reform. That's where you are right now, <laughs> the mush. <laughs> Let that just sink in a mo as to why you feel so completely crazy. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I've enjoyed making it. If there are any singers or beatboxers or vocal users of any kind you would like to see me react to and analyse, please do let me know down below in the comments or you can message me over on Patreon where if you choose to join us you can also vote every week for the performance you'd like to see me analyse. This video today in fact was brought to you by a patron poll there you will also be given access to the discord link where you can drop in and we can all chat to each other and become one that made it sound a lot creepier than it is it's a very nice civilized environment actually have a wonderful day i love you so much if you're here at the premiere then big <laughs> big premiere hug for you and if you're here at any other time big hug for you too love you loads and loads i'll see you next time Mwah! bye <laughs> I'd just like to bring your attention for a brief moment to this handmade wand by my dear beloved student and friend Ian. It's magical and it's been here for a while but I just wanted to let you know because it's precious. Oh, it's so loud. There's no way. Fan. It's over. It's over between you and I. Can't hear myself think. Ah, uh, beginning a note like that does <sighs> whatever that's supposed to mean, Lolly. Alright, then I'll let you go because I can see you all done up. Yes, I'm filming right now. You're actually on the camera, so I'll cut this out. Oh, oh god, yeah, don't hit me on there. I look like a maniac. Alright, it's dusty in here. Start that again.